Welcome Shredders. Yeah, Kiesel, right, released this updated website. Now, I know for the longest time, people would come into the channel and be like, wow, Kiesels are so sick, but their website was really bad. And I think, honestly, yes, the website, their old website looked like it was from 1994. But yeah, so they, they, they did a big update here, and um, it definitely looks a lot more modern. Also, everybody, before we get begin here, I need to show you the most important part. All right. What that? Who, who are these nobodies? What's this? Who are these nobodies? Oh, but who's this guy? Whoa. Look at this guy right here. So listen, let's make some guitars here. Let's remake the first guitar that I had. So body wood was ash, swamp ash, and then we want the antique ash treatment, right? And our top wood was a quilted maple. Three-piece body, that's right, we had the three-piece body as well. So when you, when, uh, I don't know if you could tell everybody. So if you ever get, uh, if you're ever ordering a Kiesel and you get the three-piece body, it actually adds, they, they add a thin black layer of wood between, so you have the body wood, the top wood, and then they add this, like, just a, a slim, really, a slim black layer. Okay, so we're close. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to actually do my guitar because mine was the Arctic finish, so there's supposed to be a white burst around the edges. But I don't think we could actually do that. Okay, well, 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 listen, we'll do it as close as we can here. So, the number of frets, yeah, three-piece. Oh, three-piece, we had uh, walnut purple heart. There you go. Neck profile, fingerboard wood. So, mine was actually stained. But we'll just put ebony. There you go. I mean, it's not exactly, right? It's not, it's not exactly... You can see this one has the burst edges, and then, like, the red binding, right? And also the fretboard's not the same. You know, it's, it's kind of close. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of that gloss. Yes, yeah, so this is actually satin. There you go. Not not shiny. Yeah, this is satin. That's the thing with Kiesel, right? Like, not all the options are actually on the builder. Like, there's actually so much more stuff you could do that is, like, probably too complex to put in the builder. So, like, you could message them and get, like, you know, for example, the Arctic finish. You know, like, that's not on the builder, but that's something that you can get done. The stained fretboard, right? This is a maple fretboard with a black stain on it. Not on the, you know, it's not on the builder, but you can get it done. This is probably gonna, this is gonna be the e easiest one that we do all day, I think. So, hyperdrive, right? There it is, right? So I just, I just in like two minutes on the builder, remade this guitar. And you'd actually see, right, uh, the crackle, the crackle finish looks a, a lot different than, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, one thing is missing, the, the frets, right? Gold, medium jumbo. There you go. That's it, same guitar. Damn, what a nice looking instrument. <laughs> Yours is nicer. But that's the thing too, right? It's like auto-generated, like, builder. Like the gold, like the gold hardware on on the on the builder looks kind of like tacky, right? Like look at it, but in actuality, like it's you know it's nice. You know, I feel like that's probably like if you're a, if you're a guitar company, I feel like that's probably a worry. Like if you for builders like this, right? It's like mockups don't always capture what it's actually going to look like. You know, if you wanted a top wood of quilted maple, right? Like. Your quilted maple is not going to look like that. Actually, no quilted maple is going to look like that. Because every piece of wood is different, right? Wow, chat's finally going to realize how much I had to spend on this uh, guitar that they built for me. There you go. I think that's it. I think that's... Yeah, that's the cr that's the crescent. So, it doesn't look exactly... It's actually a bit darker, right? It's hard to it's hard to show the purple, right? It looks pretty, it looks pretty similar. Right, so if you look at mine, the burst starts... But then we have the, like, the, the bright red binding. And then the body, they don't have this on the builder, but instead of, like, the, because the antique ash, right, they call this the antique ash finish, where it, like, grays it out. They have another option called blacked out. Blacked out ash. And it's just, like, a darker treatment on the wood. You can see, like, on the, on the body wings here. So, the body of my guitar is blacked out ash. And it's really nice because you can actually still see, like, you can still see the wood grain, right? It's not the same as just, like, painting the guitar black. We couldn't make it exactly on the builder, but, uh... <laughs> we got close. We got close enough, right? <laughs> I was just recreating all my guitars on the Kiesel website. Obviously, because all my guitars are Kiesel. And my Aries, like, the red guitar that I play all the time. I, uh... I was like, alright, let's go recreate my Delos, which is, like, the Strat-style model. And I picked, I picked Delos 
And then it took all the options of my Ares and then put it on the Delos. And then it's like, this is what we had. And I'm just like, man, this guitar looks fucking sick. Freaking Vanquish. This thing looks so goofy. Wow, that looks fucking baller. I just think this, I just think this option, the black burst with the red, you know, it just looks good on everything. I mean, I feel like, yeah, just this combination on any guitar is going to look really good. Oh, look at that. Okay, this is... This, we're get, Okay, this is danger territory, my friends. We're getting into danger territory. Start Rocksmith before it's too late. I just gotta say, everybody, this, uh, this thing, this thing that we built earlier, I, I really, really want this. Like, this is, uh, I'm fighting the urge to, like, order this, like, today. <laughs> Our, of course we want the bevel. Why would you get an Aries without the bevel? The bevel is, like, baller. Look at this! Okay, we're making, ooh, okay, that's nice looking. But the natural, oh, the natural binding. Oh, oh, look at it. It's so beautiful. Oh my God. Look at these friggin' colors. Yeah, any primers in the chat help me afford this? Any Twitch primers? Oh boy. Look, every, honestly, with this, look, with this combination here, the Cali burst, the burst, whatever, like every single color looks good. Every single, like every single color that I click looks good. Ever, even even these boomer colors, even these boomer colors look good. Oh my god! Even when we put translucent black burst. Okay, this like this guitar is gonna be a banger. This guitar is gonna be a friggin' banger right here. Would you? I don't know. Would you go maple on this? Flamed maple maybe. You put royal ebony on everything. It looks really nice. The, I will say the royal ebony is pretty RNG though. Like what you're gonna end up with. Can we get fifteen hundred prime subs today, please? And we can order this. Okay, uh, we made a, listen, we made a banger here. Let's make a headless, though. What, uh, okay, what's everybody's favorite headless model? We got Vader. We got the Vader here. I mean, it's just, listen, we're just going to make every single guitar a seven string, okay? Now, I actually have a Vader. Uh, my sparkle guitar, right? The rainbow guitar. This is a Vader, right? This is a Vader, multi-scale, seven string, with the rainbow sparkle finish. You, you can't order this finish. It's like a limited edition. So, body wood. I mean, I'm always, uh, you know, I always like putting the, the Swamp Ash with the Antique Ash body. I just feel like it adds, like, it gives you the most options. Quilted Maple, Burled. Flamed Koa, Buckeye Burl. I feel like if you get Burl, you know, I feel like you always want to try and leave it as natural as possible. Because if you're paying $600 for a Buckeye Burl top, like, I feel like covering it with paint, you know, it's, I don't know. I feel like you should probably just try and leave it as natural as possible. I don't know, this, this spalted maple looks cool. Do they do the, the, the natural binding? Yeah, so you can get the natural binding on here. Like, even this, this just looks so cool. Listen, you just do any sort of top wood with a burst color and the natural, the natural wood binding, and, like, it just looks gorgeous no matter what. Poplar burl. Ooh. Watch, we're gonna, then we put some black burst. Glorious, look at that. Oh, Cali Burst as well? Look at that right there. This is a winner. We just made a winner. Zebra Wood. You know what? I never liked the look of the Zebra Wood, but on this? This is looking pretty sick right here. What if we put some Fishmans in this bad boy? Yeah, it looks really good, right? With the Burst. Like the blue. You probably take three-piece. Honestly, on this, I wouldn't put three-piece. There's so much going on there already. Black Burst, California Burst, and Antique Ash Treatment on the body. Actually, you know what? For this, I don't even know if we would need to go antique ash. Like, so the natural, the natural ash body, but antique ash always just gives it like a nicer gray look. Wait a minute. Take away. Look at that. Without the black burst. Yeah. Also, we're gonna go back to stainless, uh, stainless, medium jumbo frets. Yeah, we just made a banger. This is a banger right here. We just made a banger. Yeah, um, so actually one thing that's not on the builder here is Jeff will do colored fretboards. They'll do colored fretboards, they'll do colored fretboard fades, they'll do... Basically, if you want any colored fretboard, like, they can do it. Actually, my Osiris, it, like, the fretboard is darker, but it's actually a bird's eye maple with a black stain applied to it. That's why it kind of looks like marble. And actually, for the longest time, when I used my, when I used my Osiris on stream, people would be like, Chain, your fretboard's dirty. Clean your fretboard. It looks gross. And it's like, well, no, it's 
It's not ebony and dirty. It's like a bird's eye maple with a black stain on it. So it looks like almost like a gray marble. Okay. All right. Okay. Huh. Maybe. Yeah, we'll say that headstock is a little bit, uh, looks a little bit nubby. Not bad. Not bad. Spalted maple. It's a banger. It's a banger. Actually, this, the, the, the Vanquish was originally uh, one of their base models, and then they made it a guitar. Actually, for this, then you'd have to put the three-piece body, right? Get that little extra black layer. Each string. Zeus. Always Swamp Ash with the anti-cash. Always. Uh, uh, the Aqua Burst just looks, Aqua Burst just looks so damn good. Like, no matter what. It just looks so good. All right, we made, uh, I would say we made some pretty, I would say today we made some pretty damn, damn cool looking instruments. I think this Vader looks amazing. Honestly though, this, this right here, this Delos, whoo, oh boy, why prolong the inevitable? <laughs> well, here's the thing, what if in, uh, what if in like three months they're like, hey, new Kiesel model, then I get two new guitars, <laughs> then we get another thousand Twitch Primes. <laughs>